Hi judges. Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will be locating the endpoints of the latus rectum of a parabola. And how do we do that? So we will follow these easy steps in order for us to identify the location of the endpoints of the latus rectum of a parabola. So we are given here two problems. So we are given the first one, y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to a times the quantity x minus 1. So what will be the first step that we need to do? For the first step, we need to identify first the vertex. Therefore, we have the vertex located at hk and the vertex will be located at, we have hk. Therefore, it is located at negative positive 1, negative 2. So that is our vertex. Next is that we need to identify the opening of the parabola or the direction of the opening of the parabola. Since we have the vertex here, since this is y plus 2 quantity squared, we could say that the parabola would probably open to the left or to the right. Okay? But look at the sign of the right side. And since the right side is telling us that it is positive, Therefore, we could say that the parabola opens to the right. Okay. The next thing that we need to identify is the focal distance. That is C. And just look at the value of the right side. That is 8 times the quantity x minus 1. Therefore, we will be using this 8. That is 8 over 4. So that is the focal length or focal distance, that C is equal to 8 over 4. Therefore, what is 8 over 4? Exactly, that is 2 units. Since we now have the vertex and we know the opening of the parabola and we also know its focal distance, therefore, what we will be doing now is to identify the focus. Okay, we need to identify the focus. But one technique to identify the focus is to plot the point of the vertex. Okay? Therefore, the vertex is located where? It is located at positive 1, positive 1, negative 2. 1, 2. So this is the vertex. Its location is positive 1, negative 2. So what do we do next? For the second condition, it opens to the right. Therefore, if it is, if it opens to the right, we could say that to the right of the vertex is the focus. And how much do we add to the vertex so that we could compute, to, uh, so that we could compute the location of the focus? Okay. Since this is one negative two, and we know that c is equal to two units. Therefore, to the right of the vertex is the focus. So if x is 1 here, so we will move 2 units from 1. So therefore, 1, 1, 2. So this will be the location of the focus. If this is 1, negative 2, the focus now is located where? It is located at positive 3, negative 2. Therefore, that is location of the focus. It is located at positive 3, negative 2. Since we now know the focus, we will now be able to identify the endpoints of the latus rectum. This is the focus, and we have here the equation. The equation is y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 8 times the quantity x minus 1. Since we are dealing here with x, always remember that we are only that we will be identifying the linear variable. And the linear variable here is x. If that is the linear variable, we will identify the x of the focus. Getting the x of the focus, we will substitute that here. Okay? So since we will substitute the x of the focus here, it is very evident that the endpoints, let's write it down here, endpoints of latus rectum will be having 
we will be having two endpoints. And its x values will be positive 3. So one endpoint will have 3, the other endpoint will also have 3. And we will now be getting the endpoints of the y coordinate. Okay, so how do we do that? We have 3, we substituted 3 here, write it down. y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 8 times 3 minus 1. Simplifying, we'll be having 8 times 3 minus 1 is 2. We have here y plus 2 quantity squared. Write down y plus 2 quantity squared. We'll be getting 8 times 2 is 16. Since this is y plus 2 quantity squared and we need to get the value of y, we will get the square root of both sides. Square root of y plus 2 quantity squared, cancel square root, cancel 2. This becomes y plus 2. Square root of 16 will give us a value of plus minus 4. Therefore, transfer positive 2 to the right side. y now is equal to plus minus 4 minus 2. We will be getting two values of y. Call that y1, call that y2. For y1, that is positive 4 minus 2. And for y2, that is negative 4 minus 2. But what is positive 4 minus 2? Very good. That is 2. What is negative 4 minus 2? That is negative 6. Now, we have the y coordinate of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So we'll be getting 3. That would be 3, positive 2, 3, negative 6. So let us try to locate. So we have 3, positive 2. So 1, 2. So let's arrange this parabola. So that is 3, positive 2. That is LR. 3, positive 2. And we also have 3, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the other endpoint. And that is LR then. So that is 3, negative 6. So if we will be graphing, okay, therefore, that will be the endpoints of um, the lattice rectum of the parabola y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 8 times the quantity x minus 1. Okay, so we all know that from here, this is 2c. From the lattice rectum up to focus, that is 2c. What is rc? rc is 2. 2 times 2, therefore, its length is 4. And this one, that is also 2c. And its length is also 4. So from negative 2 going to negative 6 will be 4 units. From positive 2 going to negative 2, that will also be 4 units. So that is how we identify the endpoints of the lattice rectum. Okay, so let's now have the second example. For the second example, we are given x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 12 times the quantity y plus 4. So what is the very first step that we need to do? Very good. We need to identify the vertex. The vertex is located at hk. Therefore, if it is located at hk, we could say that the vertex is positive 2, negative 4. Okay, second step is to identify or to state the direction on which the parabola opens. So what is the direction? We have x squared. If we have x squared, it will open up or down. But since this is positive, the right side is positive, we could say that the parabola opens upward. Okay, it opens upward. And then the very next step is to solve for the focal distance. So what is the focal distance? It is c. Therefore, get the value coefficient on the right side, that is 12, divided by 4. We could now say that the focal distance is 3 units. Okay, after solving for the distance, which is 3 units, let us now identify the focus. So in identifying the focus, let us graph. Okay, so let us graph. So 
So the vertex is located at positive 2, negative 4. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the vertex. Its location is positive 2, negative 4. And we could say that it is opening upward. Okay, it is opening upward. Therefore, the focus is above the vertex. By how, how much? By 3 units. So, from the vertex, let's count 3. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, this is the focus. And its location is positive 2, negative 1. So, therefore, the focus is positive 2, negative 1. We have considered the vertex. The location of the vertex is 2, negative 4. Our parabola is opening upward. Okay, therefore, the focus is 2, negative 1. Write down again the equation that is x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 12 times y plus 4. So, in this case, again, in this case, since we have here y, we will be getting the value of y. Okay? So, therefore, the endpoints of the lattice rectum, so our LR now, the endpoints of the lattice rectum, will be having, what is our y? That would be negative 1. And the other would be negative 1. So, we will be computing for the value of the x-coordinate of the lattice rectum. So, let us now try to solve. Substitute negative 1 to the equation. It becomes x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 12 times negative 1 plus 4. This becomes x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 12 times negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. Therefore, it is x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 12 times 3. That is 36. Since we have here x minus 2 quantity squared, we need to get the square root. Getting the square root of both sides, we cancel that out. We only have here x minus 2. Therefore, on the right side, square root of 36 would be plus minus 6. Transferring negative 2 to the other side, therefore, x is equal to plus minus 6 plus 2. We'll be having two values of x, x1 and x2. Our x1 would be positive 6 plus 2, that is 8. x2 now is negative 6 plus 2, therefore, we'll be having negative 4. And that will be the x-coordinate of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So, we have 8, negative 1, and we also have negative 4, negative 1. So, let's try to graph or to plot the points. So, we have 8. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 8, negative 1. Okay, where is the other endpoint? That is negative 4, negative 1. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the other endpoint. And that is located at negative 4, negative 1. So, our parabola is opening upward. Our parabola is opening upward. So, that will be the endpoints of the lattice rectum. It is located at 8, negative 1. Negative 4, negative 1. So that is how we identify the endpoints of the lattice rectum. Again, the, the very first thing that you need to do is to have an equation. So if it comes in the standard form, standard equation of the parabola, therefore identify the vertex. After identifying the vertex, locate or identify the opening of the parabola the direction of the opening of the parabola, whether it is opening up, down, to the left, or to the right. After that, identify the focal distance. So after identifying the focal distance, identify the focus. And after identifying the focus, all you have to do is to substitute whether x or y to the main equation. And you will now be getting the endpoints of the lattice rectum. Okay, so that is very easy. So this is my technique in order for me to identify the endpoints of the lattice rectum. 
Once again, I am Engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.